What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We got our first video for the season three reloaded update and that's what we're going to cover. We're going to go over the operator skins that have been revealed and leaked so far. And surprisingly, I know you guys are like, wait, season three just started. We actually have around two weeks until the mid season update goes live and starting next week, we're going to get the blog post, the roadmap and all the details that we need to know about it. And it's actually right there around the corner and we already got some leaks in regards to that. So that's what we're going to go over and talk about real quick. I wanted to let you guys know that memberships are now live. This is another way that you can support the channel and i just wanted to give a shout out to michael and erica for being some of the first members here on the channel if you're interested in that and you want to know about the perks and the benefits i'll have the link down in the description but anyways let's go ahead let's jump into this video the season 3 reloaded update is going to go live on may 1st at 9 a.m pacific standard time and some of the first things that we usually get and we cover here on the page are the upcoming operator skins that are associated with that update now it looks like from the season 3 trailer itself there was a couple of operator skins that weren't added in the season 3 update but were in the trailer meaning that they're going to come in the reloaded update we've talked about these in the past before but i just want to showcase them just to remind you the very first ones are the bat mascots they come in a different color variety i've seen in the trailers we had a purple version which was shown in the trailer over in the new six star location then there was the white version which was shown like in the pre-game lobby and then we have a pink version which was also shown during one of the gameplay trailers now because they're just different color variations of the same exact skin you could probably expect that they're going to be within the same exact bundle and if that's the case, the bundle is more than likely going to be a little bit more expensive, probably 28 to 3,000 COD points because it features three different operator skins. And then they're going to have like their own matching blueprints and items like that, which they don't showcase in these trailers at all. But following that, there's another set of different type of animal skins, if you will. These are the scary bunny operators. I saw two different variants of them, and this is what they look like. They're like a hooded operator, looks like a mascot bunny. The very first one we saw came from the Warzone trailer for season three. And you can see right here that the ears were were animated he turns around and like the ears start moving and then the hoodie was blue but then in the multiplayer trailer they showcase another version which is a yellow one but it looks like the hoodie covers the ears in this one so i guess they're changing up the styles just a little bit but maybe they're probably going to be in the same bundle it just doesn't make sense for them to sell them just because the colors are different to separate the bundles and then i almost forgot to mention in the cutscene for season three they actually showed additional color variations you see a pink one you see a black one and it's like i think five different colors are probably all going to be in the same exact pack they just look all too similar to be sold separately but it's possible call of duty could do something like that you never know and it was going on to the next operator skin that we have this was also shown in the warzone trailer for just a split second and that is the robot skin that we saw so there's like this robot skin with i believe it has the atlas logo on it some people were saying that it could potentially be ethan who was a robot that we saw in advanced warfare maybe they made a new skin sort of paying like homage to him we have seen them make many references to past call of duty titles with some of the cosmetics that they've added into the game he could potentially be one of them obviously he wasn't added in the first half of season three he's currently not in the files right now meaning that he will be added in the season three reloaded update when that goes live and it's very hard to notice but you can actually see that this is a legitimate robot it's not someone dressed as a futuristic ai but you can see like in the areas of the neck there's like wires and more than likely this might end up being an ultra skin as a result maybe it will have some sort of animation we don't really get a good look at all of it in the trailer for those of you guys who were looking forward to in the very beginning of season three you could definitely expect it in the mid-season update but let's go on to the next operator bundles that we have and that is going to be the task force 141 bundles also a quick reminder if you're finding the video informative or helpful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates the majority of you guys are not yet subs so definitely hit that sub button if you haven't anyways the task force 141 members were actually shown in the season three cutscene so when you fully load up the update there was a couple of different squads that they showcased or all squads of three the first one was mac Karov's group, which are the main characters in the battle pass. Then there was the Task Force 141 operators, which is the campaign winter version of them. And you can see that there's Captain Price, Farah, as well as Ghost. Out of all the different skin variations that are available for TF141, they ended up using ones that are unreleased and don't even make sense. So these winter versions come straight from the campaign when we did the Frozen Tundra mission. It makes sense. It was a winter type of map going on. Don't have any winter variation of any map available right now, so they definitely use them for for a specific reason and that's probably going to be because they're releasing in the mid-season update there have been some very highly requested skins that many people want to see these different types of winter variations but the question is are they going to bring the rest of the task force members in that winter style as well so are we going to see gas are we going to see soap they also had the winter styles going on i think the main reason they probably didn't put them in is it just didn't look aesthetically pleasing you have three members from coney group and then three members from tf141 it wouldn't make sense to put in five members of tf141 versus three 
Kony members. Anyways, more than likely, you can expect them to be releasing with the mid-season update, but the question is, how are they going to release? Will they be a part of a big event where you can get them for free, which is the biggest hope, or they can end up being one big operator pack where they'll have every single Task Force 141 member in the winter, probably going to charge a big whopping like 3,000 COD points. Maybe you'll get to get every single member, every single variant for them. That's something else that Call of Duty could potentially do, and that'd be a pretty big money grab, but a lot of people are willing to spend the money to get them. Anyways, the next operator skin that's going to be coming in the mid-season update is this weird-looking metal futuristic robot skin. The only thing we know is this will be a skin variant for Byline. We talked about it last time this could potentially be a free skin i don't think it is for the reason that it doesn't look like it's complete yet so meaning that there's no weapon blueprints a part of it it's not added as a tracer pack or as a store bundle yet and i think with the mid-season update this is going to be one of those bundles that's going to be complete by then and more than likely it'll end up being turned into a tracer pack or into some sort of a bundle i can't imagine it being free there is a small chance it could be usually when there's skins without a bundle tied to them there's a couple ways you can get them either they can be free a part of any event either they're unfinished or they can end up being a bonus operator skin as you guys have seen lately with call of duty you purchase two different operator skins and then it ends up being a bonus at the moment it's not tied to any bundles it's not tied to any events and it's not tied to any bonus rewards meaning that it's not complete and in the reloaded update it should end up getting finished and we'll have a little bit more information but this is definitely an operator that you can expect to be coming out in reloaded going into the next topic there is another potential operator that we can get it's probably going to be another call of duty endowment bundle call of duty did announce with season three reloaded there's going to be a brand new event called the endowment event to celebrate military appreciation month and usually with an event like this they are going to be bringing in and creating brand new operator skins maybe if it's xp based you'll need to purchase that operator skin to get an xp boost it's the only event right now that call of duty has announced for reloaded and you can expect a bundle tied to that but the next thing that we have there was something else that i noticed i was actually editing the video and then i came across it, and this is another operator skin and you can see he has big ears weird looking teeth glowing eyes mistake me if i'm wrong it doesn't look like this operator skin has released before and it was in the same cutscene cinematic for season three this is the only area where i got a clear look at what this operator skin would look like but what are your thoughts and opinions on this is it going to be animated i have no idea this just looks completely unique looks like a mummified rat skin i don't know what's up with them and animals and the spooky theme with the reloaded update but it looks like this is another skin that might be added going on into the final topic that we have for this video is going to be the the remaining bundles that we have so although that season 3 reloaded update is going to be arriving in two weeks there's quite a few bundles that are yet to be added in the game right now this first one is the virus ultra skin which is going to be a part of the new virus mainframe vortex event that'll be happening after the 420 event so you can expect this one towards the very end of the season but you got this bacillus operator skin for ghost there's also two different weapons and tracer effects that come with death effects on top of that as well i believe the bundle is going to cost 2400 cod points and then there's other bundles bundles coming out for example there's bundles that come in pairs you got the coney devil bundle along with that there's the coney empress bundle the reason why i say they're paired together is if you end up buying both of them you actually get an additional operator skin as a reward and then we also have the other pair known as the killer pair and this one brings in the killer bone collector party pack you get the killer serial creep party pack the killer circus freak party pack and the killer porcelain party pack you don't get any reward what they do is if you put on any of these skins you get an additional xp boost if you're in entire party has any skin a part of this set but these are probably going to be dropping near the same time as well and there's a total of four of them and then there's even more bundles so for example we have the cyber junkie pro pack i don't know if it dropped in the store or not but this is going to cost you real money of 1999 usd you get 2400 cod points and the cyber junkie operator then you get the cod source ultra skin there's the big brain ultra skin and then yeah there's just so many different bundles that are yet to release there's also an action figure bundle coming in so if i miss anything i do have a full video where i discussed and covered all the upcoming operator bundles i'll have that link down in the description but you can expect all those to come in before the reloaded update and once we get into that new update there's going to be those new sets of skins which we talked about in the beginning of the video those are just a few of them so if you're not fans of them don't worry usually they always save the best and they keep them hidden and then once that reloaded update blog post goes live we'll actually know if there's tracer packs 
Ultra Skins, Master Crafts, and all the good stuff will get revealed. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys in this video. Be sure to check out yesterday's video where we went over the Card 98K and the Spaz 12 weapons actually making a return. They got leaked in the files. We also talked about other things like free operator skins that you can get. So if you don't want to spend any money on these, there are free operators that you can get right now. I'll have that video linked. And then also, if you want to support the channel even more, consider becoming a member. But it's been your boy Chidzo, and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.